Over the past one year, something remarkable has happened in the world of AI development. What started as a fragmented landscape of competing agent frameworks has suddenly found a shared home. On December 9, 2025, the Linux Foundation announced the formation of the Agentic AI Foundation or AAIF. That is a new neutral governing body that brings together three of the most influential open source projects in Agentic AI under one roof. And those projects are Goose, then we have Agents MD, and Model Context Protocol. All of them you can see I have covered extensively on the channel. If you want to learn more about this project, just go to my channel and search with them. All of these projects, I think they mark a real paradigm shift here. I will touch upon these projects very lightly later in the video. But first, let's talk more about what has happened with this new framework or initiative. Well, look, if you have tried building AI agents recently, you know the problem. Every major lab and startup released its own way of connecting language models to tools, code bases, and external data. Anthropic had one approach, Block had another, Open, OpenAI had yet another, Google had another, and so on and so forth. Developers were forced to pick a site or maintain multiple incompatible integrations. The result? Agent workflows that felt inconsistent, brittle, and hard to productionize. That is where I think this initiative is extremely important. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that is what keeps the lights on on the channel. Also, if you're looking for a updates without any fluff, without hype, please follow me on X. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Coming back to this new initiative, this Agentic AI Foundation changes lot of problems by giving the ecosystem a single vendor neutral place to evolve shared standards. The same model that turned projects like Kubernetes, PyTorch and Linux itself into the backbone of modern computing. At the launch, three cornerstone projects were donated to the new foundation. First and foremost, as I mentioned, Anthropic contributed the model context protocol which is called as MCP that was released just over a year ago. MCP has quietly become the de facto universal standard for securely connecting AI models to tools, APIs and private data. Today, there are already more than 10,000 public MCP servers and the protocol is supported by Claude, Gemini, ChatGPT, Copilot, Mistral, Cursor, VS Code and many, many others. Think of MCP as the HTTP of Agentic AI, a simple, secure, widely adopted way for agents to reach out and interact with the world. Second, the block, the company behind Square and Cash App, they have donated Goose, which is an open source local first agentic framework built from the ground up on MCP. Goose gives developers a reliable, extensible environment to compose complex agent workflows that run safely on laptops, servers, or in the cloud. It's designed for production use cases where consistency and trust matters. And you can see we first covered this nine months ago, same day it was released. Third and final, OpenAI contributed agents.md, a brilliantly simple convention that's already been adopted by over 60,000 repositories. It is just a markdown file at the root of a project that tells any coding agent how the code base is structured, what commands to run, and how humans prefer things to be done. Because it's human readable and lives alongside the code, it makes agent behavior dramatically more predictable across different tools and repositories. So by placing MCP, Goose, and agents.md under the same open governance structure, the AAIF creates a stable foundation that companies can confidently build on without worrying that the rules will change underneath them if one lab shifts direction. And that is very important. 
the backing for this initiative is universally broad. If you look at the members, and this is a GitHub repo by the way, which is still empty, but hopefully it will start populating soon. Now, if you look at the members, there are Platinum members, which include AWS, Anthropic, Block, Bloomberg, Google, Microsoft, and OpenAI. That's essentially almost every major player in the space agreeing to collaborate in public, but I don't see any Chinese company there. And I think uh, they should be part of it if they haven't approached, I think they should take the initiative and become a member because they have been releasing, you know, leading open source models out there. I'm talking about Alibaba, DeepSeek, uh, Minimax, Jaifu, Baidu, and the list goes on and on. Anyway, so um, one thing, the Platinum member membership is around 350,000 it is not available i think it's all filled up maybe i'm not sure how exactly that works and these are all the benefits and then comes the gold members um, these are again i think quite a you can see that the names are quite big they it's not that they, you know they are small names like you know oracle is there i'm surprised oracle is not platinum member which is surprising um salesforce big name IBM, I think all of these companies have been releasing like crazy IBM, Salesforce uh, and Oracle is very big in the data center side of things and they have a huge, huge sprawl too in their Oracle cloud infrastructure anyway. So these are the gold members, silver member, members, Hugging Face is there, which is cool and Pydentic is there and the price for this is I guess 10,000 US dollars. That's it. So and then Stacklog, Zapier is there, Uber is there. Now, associate membership, there is no cost. I think I'm going to apply for this. I'll just join now. I will do it later after this video. Okay, but you know what? I think this is so cool. You know, this aside, I think what this Agentic AI Foundation is trying to do, they're not trying to build the agent, agents themselves. The job is very narrow and more important to maintain the shared infrastructure, the protocols, formats, and conventions that allow thousands of different agent frameworks and tools to work together reliably. If you go to my channel, just search with, maybe we'll do it now, agent. There are literally thousands of videos, thousands. I'm not joking at all. Thousands of frameworks, thousands of tools, thousands of repos. I know that you guys keep asking me which one is the best. I try to do comparison video every now and then, but you can see, I'm going down and down and down and the list is not ending. There are literally thousands of stuff there uh, in terms of agent. So, and there is no standard, you know, every video is almost different. How to implement an agent, how to do the tool call and all that stuff. So if this sounds familiar, it's because uh, we have seen this playbook before decades ago, the Linux foundation they provided a neutral home for the operating system that now running almost every server, even supercomputers. More recently, it has shepherded Kubernetes into the standard for container orchestration, and now it is doing the same for the emerging stack of Agentic AI. The hope shared by everyone from startups to the largest cloud providers is that open governance will prevent fragmentation, reduce vendor lock-in, and accelerate safe widespread adoption of autonomous AI systems. And yes, that's a tall order, but I think quite an important one. The agentic future will still be built by thousands of companies and individual contributors, but for the first time, they will be building on standards that belong to everyone. And that is why I again say this should be open to, if it is, uh, I'm not sure if, uh, who it is open to, but I think major players, especially from China, um, they should be part of this uh, because this small shift in governance could end up being one of the most important developments in AI for this year, which is about to finish. That's it. Let me know your thoughts, please. Please feel free. Follow me on X, please. Become a member, like and subscribe the video as that helps. Thank you for all the support.